Today we will be looking at some techniques from uh, half guard top. Uh, so half guard can be very uh, advantageous on top, or it can be uh, a pain in the ass depending on uh, how you're going to approach things. So first of all, things we like to uh, avoid here is knee shields, things like this, uh, and butterfly hooks, things like this. Yeah, this will cause us problems because he can now control the distance and I cannot really pressure him. So if he has knee shields, things like this, what we usually try to do is we're going to open up and try to cut inside yeah, or cut outside. Yeah, so it's not the purpose of this video, we'll talk about how to passing uh, specifically for knee shield later, but that's one thing we want to prevent. Um, how you can prevent it basically is by staying low. And I really like to control the hips here as a, as a solution for this. So a lot of times you see people going here. Um, the reason why I don't really like this position outside of actual passing is that he can easily put in an knee shield in. It's quite easy for him to put in an knee shield and push you away. So, which is why I usually start down low. Now he will probably start pushing your head and such. So we start fighting our head towards the inside. And so our head moves towards the inside, our elbow stays with our knee. If you now try some knee shield, that's very difficult here. Now, next thing, I'm going to approach and grab the head. I'm going to pull inside and pressure my cross face in. Now, I'm not going to switch towards the underhook for the same reason here. I just want to either keep my elbow on the outside or I'm going to put my elbow on the inside like this so he cannot really take an issue. If he tries to take an issue now, it's not there. It's just not there. So this is a great position to start our pass and we can uh, either go towards this side if we like to pass towards the side mount or we can start moving towards the outside if we like to pass the mount. Okay? So that's our basic mechanics to try and pass uh, from help out the pressure. Now, a lot of things can happen here and there is a lot of good things we can do as well. So, another thing I really like, especially if he's fighting your, uh, your grip hand here, so he's fighting, he's fighting, he's fighting. So instead of going under, I'm going to go over and I'm going to snatch that. Easy as that. Now, off guard is one of the positions where I le really, really like head control because this enables us to put in darses. Boom, like so, and we can get a quick finish here. Yeah? So, really nice setup I use a lot uh, from half guard is working for my pass here. He tries to uh, fight, my, uh, fight my grips, he tries to get inside, things like this, and I'm going to just go over and snatch the head. Now, for him now, it becomes very difficult to prevent me from just weaving this arm in here. I'm just going to grab my own hand, pull on through, grab my own hands, squeeze his neck in, weave through, get our grip, and finish. Yeah? It's a really nice way to approach the dars. Another nice way I like to approach the dars, so of course he's fighting as well. What he's trying to get is the knee shield and the underwood. Yeah? So another thing he's fighting for is the underwood. Beautiful thing about grips on the outside is that his hunger is not that effective. He needs to, he needs to try and push me towards this side, or he, he will not really be able to use the underhook. So he's going to try and lift, and this enables us again to snatch the head, go over, and connect our hands like this. Now, if he is very deep on a tight place, like like here, I'm not going to snatch the head. Yeah? Instead, I'm going to go in front of the head, push him back, and now we can snatch the head again. Boom and attack. Yeah, so it's a balance. So we try to prevent him from going too deep with the underhook. We try to keep him shallow. If he is very, very deep and he's about to sweep you, yeah, so we're here. Now I'm just going to pressure the face away. And from here, we can again try and see if we get our dart set up or try and set up our pants. Another nice thing you can do from head control, which is really easy, uh, especially on beginner level, works very well. Just keep the head here, and now just start hiking your knee up until you're uh, cut through. And now either you're going to pummel loose, so I'm going to go towards this side, pummel my uh, foot free, and from here switch towards the more tight position with the head locked up, which is really nice. Or from here we can go towards this side and just put your head on the mat, and we have a really nice option 
to go towards an almond guillotine finish there. If you go there, make sure you get the, the wrist nice and high. Yeah? If we're low, we're not going to get a finish. So get up nice and high. If we're here and we can go over, boom, we have already a nice and tight finish. So a lot of attacks on the head, which will work uh, from your half guard and some night tight passing. So if you start combining those two things, uh, so if we're here, we're trying to pass, boom, but he's fighting my cross face here, he's, he's, uh, uh, boom, he's, uh, he's pushing out, snatch the head, that's it. Now we can start passing, boom. You can even try to step back from leg locks. Also a nice possibility from here. Now we have so many good options from there, especially attacking the head there is a, a really nice way to approach that. So from half guard top guys, either we control the hips, fight for a cross face, left the head inside, boom, start passing. Or when he starts defending or he starts grabbing on the roots, boom, we're going to attack the head. If you combine as well, you always stay one step ahead of your opponent. You will not be able to sweep you and you will get control and even uh, very good opportunities for submissions.